Alright guys, going to talk about the best biceps ever uh, throughout the years uh, by top bodybuilders in the world. Uh, I think any discussion about biceps got to start with Arnold Schwarzenegger. <clears throat> Guy had some crazy biceps. Uh, like a lot of guys back in the uh, the golden era of bodybuilding, they were more bicep-y. You could say then a lot of today's bodybuilders who seem to have more uh, complete arm development. I don't know if that's due to machines or drugs or synthol, wrestling, cycling, whatever these guys are putting in there. Uh, you got to start with Arnold Joel Stubbs. Uh, he's got some nice buys. Albert Beckles. Uh, this is one guy who had some crazy peaks. Um, he just stood straight up, man. Uh, Kind of lacked the elongation in the bicep uh, up in uh, between his, his forearms and the bicep peak. There was a pretty good sized gap, uh, which played into the peak on his bicep, but there's no arguing those things were huge uh, in terms of uh, peak. Maybe not as in terms of mass as much, but those were crazy. And Robbie Robinson, uh, another guy. Uh, Amazing peak on his biceps. Uh, those things were uh, some of the best in history, no doubt. Larry Scott, uh, big full biceps, all the way from the forearm up to the shoulders. The guy had a pretty complete set of arms. Look at those forearms on this guy. Uh, Mike Matarazzo. Uh, Mike's been gone for a while now. Uh, rest in peace. But the guy had some crazy arms and calves. Big, veiny, uh, giant biceps. Uh, of course, Phil Heath. Maybe the uh, most complete arms on a Mr. Olympia ever, uh, in my opinion. Uh, right up there with uh, Ronnie Coleman as well. Uh, Freddie Ortiz, a couple real Freddie Ortiz from a long time ago. Mr. Priest. A lot of people think he had the best arm development in history. Uh, He's up there. I don't think he had the greatest arms in history, but pretty damn close. Paul DeMeo, another guy, rest in peace. Uh, he got a lot of uh, compliments on his quads, but this guy had a crazy set of arms. Uh, man, he had some huge tries, but uh, those buys are big and full. Uh, he's just all around big, big arms. Leroy Colbert, another real old school guy, great bicep peak. Uh, didn't have quite the triceps, a lot of guys do, but Mr. Cutler, great arms. Kevin, yeah, great biceps. Not a lot of cuts on his buys, but big full buys. Dexter Jackson, great great set of arms, great tries. Manfred Horbell, I remember this guy. Rumors of synthol were all around. I think he claimed the biggest arms in the world at one point. Sergio, legendary Sergio, rest in peace. Uh, big, big arms. Thought to be bigger than his head. I don't know if they're that big, but Vince Taylor, another old school guy. Cal, I just saw a video from Louis Marco about this guy. Classic physique, uh, kind of got blackballed uh, by the IFBB. Mr. Wheeler, another guy suspect uh, for injecting a lot of stuff into his muscles, but who didn't probably? Great arms. Bill Pearl, huge arms for back in the day. Thick, thick. Bertle Fox, uh, I was going to talk about Bertle Fox a little bit. Uh, in my opinion, uh, look at these biceps, look at the separation. In my opinion, some of the greatest arms in history pair of arms belong to Bertle Fox. He's right up there with the best. Uh, you know, back then these guys didn't inject synthol, uh, I don't believe. So, Bertle Fox, in my opinion, had some of the best arms in history. Uh, rest in peace. I think he <coughs> died a tragic death. I think he was shot by his wife or girlfriend, something like that. Horrible deal. Mike Christian. Yeah, I've seen some videos of him back in the day. Boyer Cole, another guy with huge peaks on his biceps. Uh, doesn't get enough credit. Brian Buchanan. Yeah, look at that guy's waist. 
forget about his biceps look at his waist that's crazy Dorian Yates see I've never been a big fan of Dorian's as far as his arms I don't think you know they were great I think the wrestling was just so massive maybe it kind of made him look uh, you know and then he had the injury to the bicep tear on his left arm kind of uh, cut his career short and, and kind of uh, and obviously hurt his uh, chances for the best arms and you know as an Olympia uh, competitor but uh, nevertheless uh, you know big thick arms huge forearms and of course Ronnie Coleman now Ronnie uh, I don't think gets enough credit for the size of his arms because the rest of him was just so massive in his prime uh, in my opinion Ronnie's right up there uh, with uh, Roly Winkler as some of the greatest arms in history. Uh, this guy, you know, when he came in shape uh, back before, you know, he had the pinched nerves, I think, on his right side, maybe. Uh, one of the nerves somewhere, and he kind of lost some size, maybe. On, I think it was, might have been his left arm, actually. But uh, in my opinion, he, he his arms were highly underrated. This guy had killer bicep peak. And a long, full triceps. He was just a beast, but the rest of him was so damn big that your eyes would tend to be drawn to his huge back and, and traps and chest. And the guy was just a monster. Uh, best bodybuilder in history, in my opinion, Ronnie Coleman. Paul Delat, huge guy, but uh, didn't train real hard. Never reached his potential. Glue. Frank McGrath. Yeah, big, thick arms. Surge, legendary old school guy. Rig Park, Ridge Park. Uh, yeah, old school guy, great biceps. Uh, kind of like the try. Here's crazy about this. Uh, I was reading this uh, earlier. He was doing 20 to 30 sets for both biceps and triceps, three workouts per week. That's insane. Wow. That's definitely overtraining in my opinion, but uh, you know, he did have some nice biceps, but kind of lacked the tricep development. Sean Ray, another legendary guy, Dave Draper. Yeah, Dave was, uh, I think, the original blonde bomber. Marcus Rule, crazy, crazy biceps, big peaks. Nasser, uh, rest in peace. Another guy who died too young. And this guy, Marco, huge biceps, man. Uh, killer peak. I don't know. I think he's suspect maybe for some synthol use, but I don't know. Whatever. They're still huge. Uh, going to go up to uh, Roly Winkler here. This is probably arguably the guy with the best arms in the world right now. Um, if those things are bigger than most people's legs. That's just crazy. Uh, I think Louis Marco talked about his triceps, which... I, w I would agree the best in history I don't think his biceps are the best in history but overall arm development you cannot argue with with uh, with these pictures so Lee Priest uh, back to him look at this pic veiny as heck wow uh, just nuts um, but uh, I think Lee uh, I was watching a video where I think he's injured now that's tried to have some surgery to get back things back to normal but not working out too well for him. I hope it does. Uh, you know, I'd like to see him uh, get back into shape and get some picks up, maybe. Uh, but yeah, just going over a couple, uh, a couple guys uh, with some crazy, crazy ass arms. I'm sure I forgot somebody. If you want to name some names, don't hesitate.